And you're live. <clears throat> morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. <laughs> morning thoughts. Listen, um, to the people tuning in this morning, I'm dropping by, man, to say that I am not in my element. I'm on the road. Uh, I didn't come on yesterday morning, and um, here I am this morning. Uh, just, I've been driving for like 10, 10 hours straight of driving. You can see my eyes, right? And then I have some business to take care of in this part of the world and all these other things. So someone look when man wake up this morning, right? Tired. Uh, just, just, I figured I'd just drop in just for you. Just for you. Just to say good morning. Just to say thank you. Just to say um, it's, it's not going to be a traditional morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. And it's the freaking weekend, baby. Ha ha. Clap it up. I can't even do that real loud because, see, over there, sir. Yeah. Remember I told you our school start back and all these things. And I was going into Atlanta. I got to drop off my son. And these things, well, I'm over there, so I sleep in Pamphine bed. And I'm over here. We just got in uh, to Atlanta this morning, like, really, really early in the morning. After driving 10 hours straight. 10 hours of driving. So I'm tired. Really, really tired. Right? Big up the people I'm tuning in this morning. I'm holding my mic up this morning and everything because I'm not in my element. Um, my time, my eye them red. I don't have my hat on. Me and I'm a nighty. A night to them call it. <laughs> I won't mind we're a nighty so flow. Well, y'all know what I'm saying. Right? Great goodies. Big up. Thank you for being here. Juno Bryan, thank you for being here. BM. Donna Davis, thank you for being here. Uh, Angel D, thank you for being here. Perlis123. Mr. Arthur called Don. Mar Mervin the Point, Jamaica Kerr, thank you for being here. Audrey Wright says, morning, fam and present teacher. Wayne Nathan. Sharon Spence, thank you for being here. Senior Sexy, Rosalind Smichael. Shay, thank you for being here this morning. Gun and Life is in the building. DR, Miss Goldie Robinson, thank you for being here. Bro Shaka, big up yourself. Bro Shaka, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope all is well in your world, fam. Thank you for being here. Mervin the Point, Jamaica Time says road time. Blessings. Yes, fam. Traveling right now. Scully, Jennifer Rodney, big up yourself. Thank you for being here. Crystal G, I wasn't sure what I did with the live this morning, so I wasn't sure if people are going to be here that name weren't in green but now miss jennifer rodney and scully name in green i guess i left the live open i wasn't sure may i tell you i'm sleeping i'm literally moving and sleeping i just did 10 hours straight of driving so i'm kind of tired um marlene jackson bro shaka again thank you for being being here this morning haven't seen you in a while holy pa people in here this morning uh with, whose names are not in green I don't want to keep you too long this morning, though, but I wanted to say something where I figured I couldn't do a video. I had to go live to say it. And I don't know, not probably, I will be going live later on during the day because after I do this appointment in the city that I'm in, then I'll have time before I move on to my next location, some downtime today, and then later on tonight or this evening, more movements again. So I wanted to share this video I saw yesterday with our Prime Minister, um, the Right Honorable Andrew Holness, uh, handling some counterfeit goods or what seems to be some counterfeit goods. And, you know, I may have something to say about that still. Divine Order, Shalom. Thank you for being here this morning. I uh, haven't seen you in a while. So, Scully says, I'm glad it's open. Thank you. Yes, Scully. I think I, I left it open by mistake, though. But, <laughs> but hey. Enjoy. All right. And I appreciate you being here. Marcia Beach is in the building. Carlton, Carlton Kelsey is here as well. Uh, though it seems like this internet is good in this place yeah, that we're at. We just jump off in our hotel room close to close to where I have this appointment today. Right. So once I once I complete that piece of business, then I'll come back to this room and we'll chop it up live. Wherever you're there, make sure you have your notification on so you can catch the little piece alive later. But I'm going to give you a piece now, anyways. So, we'll never get a good look at me. This is no makeup. We we'll never get to beat my face this morning. We we'll never get to beat my face this morning. I didn't get to put on any makeup. My eyes are red. I can't put no glasses on. Don't even have my glasses. 
No, motherfucker, do have my glasses. Here, we can look like a little better. See that? So you know if you look upon me ready eye them all morning. All right. The one time I catch the live, yeah, give me S R T V E. Bro, Shaka said the one time I catch the live, yeah, give me what shirt verse. I wanna, bro, Shaka, divine. <laughs> Divine Order said, bless up so far. Keep up the great work. Respect. <laughs> Manners and respect. Big up Divine Order. I appreciate you. I wear bro Shaka, I say. You prefer no glasses, Cheryl? Cheryl said no glasses. Oh, short version. And you give me short version and I couldn't read it. Yes, you want some sleep. Yeah, man, I want some sleep, but my, my youth, them, them not too soldier-like, you know, them kind of privilege. He's getting chauffeured all the way to his location so but as we come in this morning as we reach in here this man went straight into the bed not even itch i think he went to the bathroom first and then run, went right in the bed instant drop asleep and i couldn't even do that after driving 10 hours so i laid down upon my phone until i fell asleep and i was just looking through the phone just to see if may i miss anything you know anything any breaking news anything like that just for unwind come I mean, it still feel like i'm driving after driving for so long but yeah, this is where we at this morning, man. I missed y'all yesterday too. I was trying to make it, but I couldn't make it. And I didn't want today to be Friday. And I don't make it on a Friday. And then we just go off into the weekend and not say happy weekend to each other and not send each other off with some positive vibrations and these things. Finally, catch a live before it starts. Boss Lady KK Black Queen says, Yes, 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 yes. So. I could talk about this real quick since I'm low voiced and all, and it's pushing up close to my appointment time. I forget let you know in my business and all these things. My appointment time is actually nine o'clock this morning, and I made sure that I stay in a hotel that's close to it. So, soldier moves. See, when you, when you have an appointment somewhere, when I have an appointment somewhere, what I do is I drive straight to the address of the place first that I'm going to have the appointment at. Once I get there, mark the location, knowing that I have to be there early in the morning, first thing, and then I find a hotel closest to that location, set my alarm, you know, that means no excuses. So them thing they are army things, army teacher them thing they often move like that still. I'm trying to teach my kids these things, but leading by example. So big man over there, so I sleep. For let me see. I have some family members in here who wanted to see him as well. And I'm supposed to call y'all when we're together so you can see him on this journey. You will see him later on. After man, wake up and come back in and fresh up on these things you'll see him later on but he's over there that's all and big big old six footer so and so that's my eldest that's my firstborn right there see it's called when a dry run yes marcia it's called a dry run absolutely you see how they do this well i shouldn't say they do this to us you see how this stays with us? That's why military people, after you've done certain years in the military, you probably could never act like a civilian again. Just off topic, like a bit. May I vibe with you for a second before we get into seeing Andrew Holness handling this counterfeit goods <laughs> and what I really have to say about it. And my little message to my people, my Jamaican people, because some of you are dual citizens and you tune in here and you're going to be voting in Jamaica in the election as well and these things so let me show y'all something right but yeah just a rule of thumb most people who serve do a couple more than just a couple of years they are programmed differently and this is a perfect example of that these are things that civilians don't do you don't map out where you have to go the day before you have to go there and then mark it and then stay close to it so in the morning there is no excuse I could wake up in the morning like a civilian. The typical civilian will miss their appointment. The typical civilian will call and ask if they could reschedule. Or they will say, hey, I'm running late. Um, I'll be there so-and-so. They'll get caught up in traffic. 
all this other kind of stuff. Oh, God, may I drive because I didn't know say it was this far. No, may I have to go through all this traffic. We don't do that. We map it from the more, from the night before. We, we map it from the night before. We scout it out. We're ready in the morning. No excuses. We're showing up. And we're showing up at least 15 minutes early, right? So that's what I'm on this morning. Uh, we can see him sleeping. The family accepts all things. Angel D, I appreciate you. Thank you. Angel D says, I do that with a new job locating. Me too. I, I apply the same principle every time I do my OT stuff, occupational therapy stuff, and I take a contract. I get the contracts in Texas, and I leave from Florida, and I drive into Texas, and I make sure I get there the weekend before I start. So I can find the location. I even go walk. Go, I even go into the location, introduce myself to whoever is there, do a complete walkthrough of the location from, say, that Friday evening. Try to catch some of the staff that I'm going to be working with. So them semi civilian clothes, civilian minded type of thing. Walk through first. This is before Monday morning when I'm supposed to start. Look around. That means that when I pull up Monday morning, I know exactly where I'm gonna be at, and I scout out the little town. See what's going on around me. Some I know. I know where I'm going to be at. Some of the contracts I take, they are way out in the middle of, not actually all of them. They are way out in the middle of nowhere because that's where the money is good at, right? They're way out in the middle of nowhere. And sometimes I want to know if it's one of them places there where my kind is not welcome and all these other things. So I can tell them before Monday morning and say, hey, I don't think this is going to work out. You know, I ran into a couple of things out here. And blah, blah, blah. I usually tell my recruiters, too, when they call and they say, hey, are you up for a contract? We have a contract for you. It's paying pretty good. Blah, blah. How much is it paying? I could tell myself, nah, that's not enough for me to leave my house. Or I could be like, uh, well, babe, I'm packing my bags because they match my price. I got to go. That money is good. And, you know, she, she'll she be, go ahead or whatever. So, but sometimes the money good, but I also tell them, please make it a kind of place where my kind is welcomed. And them always said the same thing. We'll never put you in a place where your kind is not welcome. We put all that into consideration. You're going to love it there. There are a lot of your kind there since you want to say your kind. There are a lot of your kind there. You'll you love it there. And I get there and black people are everywhere. <laughs> God, even in some place which part I'd be a tumbleweed. And the breeze are blow. I don't know if you ever watch those old Western movies and you hear that. Ta -na 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 -na. <laughs> and just saw the player sound. And you see one lonely cowboy ride past slow motion. Then you see a big old tumbleweed rolling through in the streets. I've been to those kind of places, like way down to the Mexico border. And <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And we are there. A whole full staff of black people are there. The CNAs are black. A whole team of CNAs are black. The fellow, um, the nurses, you will have one and two nurses, travel nurses too. I work alongside them. And then, of course, I do OT, which works alongside PT, physical therapy, alongside occupational therapy. And we just get in there and do a thing. Collect with money and go out with yard, not true? Right. So, I don't know the thing already. With with wind with windmills, yes, with windmills, with 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 black people riding horses in big old ten gallon hats, you know, it's big old cowboy hat them, yeah, it's good for traveling, you know, cause you get to see some things. We driving one time, um, Akshakira, we had drive one time on Ox are a group of black men on young black men on horses, <laughs> flying down the sidewalk past we see two are. We say, uh, this real? And then after that, we kept seeing them like every day. So we know say, it's a part of them thing. They do line dancing, z z z Zodica or something kind of music it name. But they do line, all that, all the country stuff that you could think of. Black people in it. They are very much in it too. So we out here. Okay, we don't want your appointment time creep up. And we don't hear about... Conjure. Let's get into the Conjure thing. Big up yourself, Angel D. And thank you. Um, okay, so check this out. Huh. Uh, uh, this this is the video I want to talk about. 
My lighting not so good this morning. Let, let me see if I could. May I have to go fix it some other way? That's how I tell it looks too bad. You can't see it too bright. General, all right, let me try something else. Will it work with me? Let me try something else. Let me see. Because I have a light that's behind the computer. That's all right. All right, here we go. Let's see if it all show up, so. Going out of darkness with me for a minute. Hold on. Seem there. Yes. 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 May I leave it long enough so everybody can see it? You know? Pay attention. What? May I break it down for you? All right. Marcia Beach. That no one to see. I need that short. All right. May I switch up the lights now? I'm going to switch the lights up now. Y'all see how important lighting is? All right. So with me being out of element and have the lighting in the wrong place, you couldn't even see what I was trying to show you. You know, if I was in studio, you would be able to see it. Anyhow, watch me. There's a lady out there, right? A vendor. And the vendor is selling outside. She's not in a regulated area, but she has sell her goods. She have clothes and stuff, see? I don't think him would be that slow. She must be in a regulated area. So let me take that out there. Because there's no way. But recently, I saw where them do a big bus. And the big bus, and I've covered these big bus before. The big bus was for counterfeit goods. Now, I can almost assure you every dollar I have in my pocket I know that those Adidas shorts, along with all the other stuff she has on the table, the Nikes and the 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 what what the other name? Something bunny, psycho bunnies and this and that. Gucci shirt, there, there. You know damn well them shirts didn't come from no Gucci store. You know damn well those Adidas didn't come from Adidas or didn't come from a reputable manufacturer that works with Adidas. In other words, what I'm saying to you is those are counterfeit goods. Those are counterfeit goods. If you ask the average Jamaican, about knockoff, then we tell you, say, I mean, I talk, but I'm not talking about the Jamaicans that love to pretend and keep with the pretend. The average Jamaican will tell us, say, me not business if I counterfeit. Nobody around here don't care. We get, as so we get for wear counterfeit. Matter of fact, the same Chinese people them were so it for those companies. Are the Chinese people them have a way of knocking off the same thing because they are used as slave labor. Them get pay one cent for every shot them so Them kind of something there, right? And they work crazy hours in factories and stuff. So the Chinese are like this. When they sew your stuff, they'll sew one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. And, and they will use the same outline and sew the stuff. And it'll be so, for those of you who live in New York and you know about Canal Street, you know. The knockoffs come with even the barcode, the price, the everything that I could hold that knockoff in front of you right next to a, a good one. And you won't be able to tell the difference. That's how good it is. Right. So my Jamaican people now is like, my youth, listen, we are ghetto people. We Be honest with yourself. We can't afford no real Gucci out of no Gucci store. But when we wear with things. Oh no, watch weapon video and feel like we have on the real thing. That means it's good enough, right? So 14th Street 2, yes, BM. So 
in essence, this big old thing they have in Jamaica where them lick down the store, them take away the whole of the people goods. Just Google right now, counterfeit goods seized, store owner locked up or imprisoned, Jamaica. And you will see, they do it quite often. So all year long, all the while before election is rolling around, his administration is all about cracking down on counterfeit goods, closing people's store down. People like her better not be standing in the wrong place selling her stuff because our stuff is going to get confiscated. I want to see how them do the thing already, right? Now you see election time coming around and what's he doing? Remember, I know, I want Jamaicans to remember this. This man told us to our face already. Remember he said, oh, me know how to get back in the people them good graces. Me did just a cool. But me know how to turn it up when me ready. You remember that? He said that to our face. He knows how to get back in the people's good graces. Because right now him, his ratings was low. And they were rating and saying uh, if election was to be held today, the People's National Party would actually win the election today. And... He came out and they had a meeting and he said, me know how to get back into the people them good graces. Don't, don't worry about that. Me did just a cool. But me know how to turn it on when me ready. Remember that? This is him turning it on. And I don't know how Jamaicans fall for this every friggin' election that comes around. All the man have to do is come through the ghetto by one pair. You know damn well Andrew don't shop with Dung a Town. You know Andrew now by closing and no market. You understand? His clothes is actually coming probably off the shelves straight from Miami or on, on a shopping trip overseas or from a high-end store in Jamaica that actually carries the real brand. But he does this every time. And the same thing him did do with the clocks before. Hold on the color. Hold on there. Because we don't have much time this morning. Sorry. Is the same thing he did with the clerks before when he was running for election. I'll never forget me. Look on, I look online. So everybody I said, So Flo, go watch, go, go look for Andrew with him clerks. You hear what I'm saying? Him big up cartel. Cause you know vibes cartel are my favorite artist. And when me check it, he had on some green clerks. And the caption said, Away you get that new clerks, the daddy. In in Patois, just like that. That's the famous song, right? And when you get the new clocks, the daddy, by Popcorn and Vibes Cartel. Under the comment were literally thousands of Jamaicans say, yes, man, if I this is my deal with a, my prime minister, this, you know, so I'm never too sure, but I'm going to vote for him now. And I was like, damn, that's all it takes? So he knows that. He has the psychology of the people picked. He already knows that him can underperform all year after year, and then come on telling you, we are moving forward. He did a commercial yesterday where he said Jamaica's um, unemployment rate is the lowest it has ever been in the history of Jamaica. I drive. May I drive go about my business, you know, and I shouldn't be looking at my phone, but me look down and I see it. And I was like, here he is doing this. I said, you know what? Tell the people anything. Election is drawing near. They need to see him in the market shopping from regular Jamaicans who butter butter all year long to survive. They need to see him seeming as if he is one of them. They need to hear that the, the Jamaica's uh, unemployment rate is the lowest in history. Not the lowest since this year. Not the lowest since the COVID pandemic and the place opened back up. Not the lowest since the lowest in the history of Jamaica. Me say yes man, tell them anything because the same suffering people not going to remember they were suffering. When him come stand in front of them, they're just going to be all oh. You hear what I'm say? Him say the lowest in the history. Yes man, we are move forward, you know. Nobody no do nothing bigger for the country than Andrew. <laughs> talk, wait there, Jennifer Rodney says so flow talk about the hidden six no man. Well on no man. But these people are programmed. So my message to my Jamaican people is stop make them use we on a ring we up and then you ever see when towel wet 
and you wring out the towel and then you sap it up again and the towel full of water and you wring it back out. That's how they do us all the time. Them wring we out to dry, sap back up and wring we out. To, and we just go right along with it. They go into certain communities, them string up speakers, they do their homework. Them know which community love party. Them know which community love hear certain kind of music. They really a psyops. They really put their homework in. Them string up them speaker. They even start having famous artists from dancehall music do dub plates for them. At, <laughs> at that election gone to, you know, imagine Donald Trump having dub plates done from his favorite artists. And uh, when Obama was in, imagine Obama having his special dub plates cut and them at the dub plate runoff, like dub for dub, like a sound clash thing. They, they, that's what they turned it into. And the people them get fooled by it every single time. Certain community, them going at the community, them kill two goat, curry goat and white rice and give it to the and rum and rum punch or whatever and music I play. And them just stand around and dance and talk with the people them and the people them eat curry goat and them drink and them drunk or tipsy and then send them go to them yard and they go and they vote. So the next time they have a big meeting, everybody show up in green because the prime minister come around, yes, sir, you know, come string up speaker with we, you know, and feed we, you know, curry goat and white rice and so. And they'll never see, they'll never see them again in their community unless something tragic happens and they're trying to get a photo up so they can say, we care about the people, you know, see, we are right here with you. You don't notice that anything like somebody get murder, then they really go. But if the murder is drastic and it's pushing up close, they're like, okay, we have to go on this scene. I tell people this all the time. The prime minister is not his job to visit any murder scene. But every time he does, it's a photo op. I'm not one of the people that's saying, Lord God, the prime minister couldn't come check upon them. I don't expect the president of the United States of America to go to every murder scene in the United States of America. That's not his job. It's not even in his job description. It's the same thing for the prime minister. And if he visit every murder scene, but to how they have done nothing as far as, remember, you know, the right honorable Andrew Holness, that was the premise on which he ran. And whether he likes it or not, he's the one that said it. A him say, your window and doors them are going to be able to be open. When me done with crime, you can you go sleep with your window and your door them open, right? Or something like that. Windows and doors open, which means there will be relatively no crime. Because me are going to step on crime so hard. We, we grill up now more than before. We are begging each other now, make sure you put up a security system to invest in a one. We are... We are inside now more than ever before. People afraid to go on road after certain hours. After certain hours, you not catch me on road. You know, me in the house, if you ask the average Jamaican, right? So he knows this, and that continues to beat him. Why I said it is not his job to go to every murder scene, I want the average Jamaican to understand this. It is his job to delegate, which means... When you are voted as the head, you run the show. So when you run the show, it is off your expertise now where you're going to put people in position. You're going to put people in a position who you know are qualified to handle that job. And you're going to hold them accountable as their boss. So your minister of national security now, him supposed to be able to control whatever goes on with national security and you are going to hold them accountable all right um mr chang you have to report to me every three months and we're going to do a follow-up and a review just to see where you're at what um progress we've been making because we have to hit these numbers you know and i promised the people that i would so i need you to get us there that's his job that's what he's supposed to do him not do that him put him friend them unqualified in positions of power that can't handle the position, give them big raises and lie to it the whole time they're in power. Things are getting better. Crime is down. 
in St. Catherine by 20% this year. Crime is down in Clarendon, especially murder, serious crime, by 30% this year compared to last year time. Don't y'all notice that when them tell with that? At the end of the year, what do the numbers say? The number them say the same thing with them say last year. Matter of fact, some years it say more. Like one year it said 1,100 and something. The next year we had 1,600 and something murders and all year they was telling us crime is down this year 30 percent crime is down this year especially murders 20 percent here 10 percent there them just lie 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 all the way through and when them reach the end them tell you more lie they come out them curry goat and <laughs> white rice you them come out them find two women on the sidewalk and sell something that they usually tell the municipal police them go pick up the script them up off of the sidewalk and, and broke up them them handcart and find them and fling them over there so they need to be in regulated areas but election coming around no leave them alone leave them right there may I go down they go buy some clothes from them and we fall for it stop falling for it stop falling for it hold them accountable you have some idiot people and i'm sorry but i have to say it idiot people they are the one who are hindering progress you know back in the day when the slaves on the plantation were trying to escape you always had those who used to take sit beside you and them take in the whole plan they know what time we are planned to leave tonight they know how we are going to throw the signal they know everything then we sit there and go on like them and leave with you. And then them go up at the house. Go say, Jebediah, Jebediah, I got something to tell Master. What you got to tell Master, boy? Jebediah, this is serious, Jebediah. I got to tell Master. Them ain't my people. Use my people. Yeah, I got to tell you, son. So they planning on running tonight, Master. And they's going to throw up a smoke signal. It's going to be in the back of the yellow house. That I saw them, the people that steal. That's why them get, that's why them sell we out so easy every year. Every, and they're the same ones that complain with we all, all year, every year. Think about it, you know. They're the same ones that complain with us all year, every year. Jesus Christ. Them give we a 100% raise. And they brag about it. Yes, private sector and this and that and regular people and minimum wage got raised over 300%. Uh, everybody happy. Blood fire, we get a 300% raise. Something says so flow. Go look up the 300% raise because I mean what they said. Them get 100% raise and 200% raise too. I'm talking the politicians. And to make it not look so, may I show you how them trick we, how they trick the people. To make it not look so bad, they themselves give themselves 200% raise, 100% raise. And then them say, you know, Rati, this look bad, you know. Drop the minimum wage there. Jesus Christ, are that a minimum wage? I who work for that? <laughs> Boy, you're funny, you know. Kanjo, you're funny, you know. All right, all right. Here we are going to do. We have to go, we have to go increase the minimum wage. In order for we to get to 200%, we have to go increase for them too. So they increase the minimum wage and then put it on front page. Minimum wage increase 100%, 200%. Something say, go and look at the numbers. I know by the mind where them can't artists say, I tell you. So I went and looked at the numbers and I was able to tell my audience, you know, sir, even with that big increase, it's 89 US dollars and 89 cents for 40 hours. Of labor per week. That is what the increase was. So anybody where they are Jamaica, which is majority of the workforce on all the well needed levels, the essential people, especially within the tourism industry, so on and so forth, right? The servers, the cooks, the this, the that, and the other. Eighty nine dollar, and I want my people to know this and to think about this. Your people are out there working for $89 a week. Ask yourself, where are you going to put in 40 hours of labor for the week and collect $89? 
for the week. And um, hello, this is uh, 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 this is before taxes. This is, this is you see what I say. So while they gave them that and put minimum wage raised by how much hundred percent, they also gave themselves hundred percent, two hundred percent raise. Go look at their numbers, so flow. I'm mean, gonna go look at their number. Multi billion dollar salaries. Um, sorry, multi-million dollar salaries got 100% raise, 200% raise. Overnight, for them, salary just double and a triple. And the people, them run, gone, happy, don't even care about what's happening and saying, yes, we get a big raise, 100%, because it sound good, 100%. Yeah. So now that he's out here bragging with his new commercial that I saw yesterday, that says Jamaica has now hit the lowest unemployment rate in the history of Jamaica. I want somebody who hold a man the accountable and say, sir, you know, sister, the whole of the country almost enslaved. Because anywhere you have people working for a wage that they cannot live by, that's slavery. They're literally giving us scraps. And the people are forced to accept it. But you know what? Here's the trick. The trick is starve them for a long time. And when time them, when, when you almost break them, that's when you throw them a little piece. And when you throw them a little piece now, they'll be so happy. They'll be like, God, look what we just get. 100% raise, you know. A long time, me I wait for this, you know, because, boy, me I beg for this. No, me can't do something with this. Because they, the people have already carved out how to survive with the very minimum they were getting before. So now that them get a little extra, them feel like them actually I get something. Imagine 89 US dollars for a whole week of labor. Who would do that? Who is doing that? So when you see Jamaica reach the stage now, you know, see what, what I go on in Jamaica. I'm not putting down uh, Valiant with his hit song, Mad Out. I'm just using the term. Uh, Mad Out, Skin Out and Dash Out and Dunceness run the place. That's where we're at. Mad out, skin out, and dash out. The whole of the man, them are mad out. The woman, them skin out and dash out. And everybody happy to them dunce. Dunce, back of the class, don't have no subject, all these things. You might think it's funny, and you might think it's just songs that are hit songs. That's exactly where they want us, and that's exactly where they think they have us. Because there's a lot of us, there are a lot of us, that are signed up to do just that. Mad out, skin out, and dash out, and... Dunce and fully dunce. That's all. So my message to not just the people stop falling for this, but to you, Mr. Holness, you are disappointing. You are very disappointing. I told people this over the years. When Andrew was elected, I said to myself, me not in the politics because I truly believe JLP, PMP, CM coin, different sides I really was hoping that the people would rally behind the UIC and actually try something new. But I've seen that other social media personalities who are pretty popular in Jamaica, I mean, uh, my tongue, like Andre um, Stevens, they have been rallying for a particular political party. He looks like he's swaying people more to go PNP. They're not swaying anybody towards anything new. It's just the same two parties that will be fighting it out for our rulership. And when they get their rulership, they will give us the same medicine again. So I realize now that everybody has something invested. Either it's somebody they used to work for on the other side before, and now they're not friends anymore and bad blood did it, so they switch sides. There's, everybody is still trying to figure out how to get their paycheck or have their money coming in or keep their friendship with who they had friendships with before. It's like being in a gang. Which gang you want in a? It's either this gang or that gang. And we have with ties and we're not breaking it. So nobody is actually trying to educate the Jamaican people and lead them to a place where they can actually make real decisions that will make 
real changes for the country of Jamaica and its people for generations to come. That's not the agenda. The agenda everybody have is get my friends them in power so me can be powerful too, which makes sense, especially if you're conniving. It makes perfect sense, right? When Andrew first got in, I said, here's a young man, because he's, he's pretty young. I said, here's a young man who's going to change things, who's going to leave a lasting legacy. What him say? Up in door and window, a him I go do it. Him look like him or did him stand up on him word. I'll know. I'll know. The, the, the dollar, the Jamaican dollar, yeah, it does a slide ago like avalanche. You know, see that over the years? And they literally look us in the face and say, it has been stable. Well, I can be selfish. I mean, I'm not really complaining about because um, <laughs> I do travel frequently. I live in the U.S. and work in the U.S. and earn in U.S. dollars. So it works to my benefit when the Jamaican dollar slide gone. So, because the more, the, the, the longer my dollars will be for less when I go there. But I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about the people. I'm concerned about the people who have to live there, work there, and be there. Right? Right. The dollar slide were gone like avalanche. Murder rate skyrocket and staying skyrocketed. Um, gangs and gunmen have taken over the country. And everybody are going like, no man, I just in isolated areas. A lie is in everywhere. Is in everywhere. Is in all the places where we thought it would never be. One time gone, we used to can't run, go up one place and say, Why? Me not go around so because be a bad sitting go going around there. So me over here. So now the whole island is it can go down anytime, anywhere. They're everywhere. Watch them strategy every time them call their what, what them call it? Um Zoso, Zones of Special Operations, and the other one. Watch, watch every time them call it. Don't you see what they do? We are going to be in Montego Bay from January 1st until March 13th. As somebody who's been in the military and knows about the element of surprise, me, me look, me, every time them do it, every time them do it, I say, maybe they're trying to throw them off. Maybe they're not going to do it. Maybe they're going to make them things that they're going to do and they're going to do something else. The people them show up the day them said them are gonna show up and left the day them said them are gonna left. Me say what well, they rotted. This is going on. When since law enforcement notify criminals when we're coming, how long we're going to stay, and when we're leaving, them have a start date and a leaving date. And if they're going to extend it, then put it on the news to and tell them we're going to extend it for our next thirty days. Oh no, not say all that. So with the dollar sliding. With the, the 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 wages for the average person being under a hundred U.S. dollars a week, some slave labor something, and we have to figure out how to survive, how to put food on the table, how to pay a school fee, how to uh, pay all the bills. JPS are strongly over here, so how to do this, that, and the other with it. How transportation go back and forth to work. How it out of this year, one one hundred dollar you know. And, I, and 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 it's just a bunch of things that's combined that I'm flabbergasted to to witness the Jamaican people seeing it again, and still like a lamb to a slaughter. Hey, see me neck here. Put the rope around it. Yes, yeah, stick the knife right there. So the, they're just going like right going. And I'm saying, because we're on outside looking in, a lot of us, right? Yeah. And it looks very different from the outside looking in. From the outside looking in, it looks like, damn. Warm to the people, them. What happened to the people? Half of the people are just happy to get them name call out. Or just happy for the man drive by and say, hey, why? You know, like when Michael Jackson used to wave and people faint at his concerts. That's how they treat their leaders, especially the prime minister. He's like a rock star 
him wave, a couple of them drop out. You know, say me I go vote for him because I'm dead around here today, you know, him care about we. Sad situation, man. Sad to see. So that video I just showed you with him buying that Adidas, yes, me I go take it. The comment section is filled with yes, him support we. That am my good president and um, prime minister, you know. No prime minister better than him. They're going, look at him buying the same stuff he seized. Uh, and some of the people, them big up to them for killing him with the comments. One person said, look at him buying the same stuff that he seized the other day. It's the inconsistency for me. Dicky Plum says, shaking my effing head. Poor people are so gullible. I'm praying for the people of Jamaica. Why? Prayer without work, stand do a thing. And we've been praying hard and long for a long time. And all we get a hard life. Miss Rich says, counterfeit goods, when they label them as real and selling them for real designer price. These print logs, Nike, Fila, etc., those are printed logo brands. This, like a plain t-shirt, can be done for you in a store or a printing shop. Big difference. He might buy a logo printed shorts. She had tried to justify why he's buying it. Miss Lady, and this is how the Jamaican people, some of them fool fool. You cannot open a store or set up a stall and then replicate all the Gucci stuff and all the Nike stuff and you have a man when no for make shoes. Yeah, booba booba no for make shoes real good enough. You know? I tell you, say make a pair of Nikes the other day. I may put it next to the real one, couldn't tell the difference. So here what? We have a lick now. So you see the new Jordan them will come out. Booba go make 200 pair of them there. And we are gonna sell them for real Jordan price. You can't do that. That is exactly what counterfeit is. But you have people here trying to justify him purchasing these things. While other people, of course, are beating him. Blood clot, conjure coldness, conjure coldness. At it again. Cunning, tricking the people, them again. Acting like he's effing caring about the poor and needy. Hey, folly tricks with manipulation. Worse than bombs and guns. Them wicked, them worse than colonial masters. Taras clot, election is right around the corner. This is a PR stunt at its finest. This is Jaquan Smith. 585. That said that. Him, and, and the next person said, him so make them lift up all of that off of the roadside. Wicked. Buy it. And then when him go up the road, he make sure, hello, um, when you call the municipal police, you know, see the people them spread out on the sidewalk around here. It don't look good. Isn't this what we've been trying to clean up <laughs> clean up all year? Make sure when my motorcade come through, you know, that there's no interruption, you know. But the people them will learn. They will learn. According to Marcus Garvey, they won't until their back is against the wall. And I guess we're back not against the wall yet. So good luck to us. That me want to show you this morning. A moment of consciousness. A moment where it's time for us to say real change is needed. No more just glorifying of these people who we elect. But real change is needed. Right. Mr. Somebody say, you I see Brock. Yeah. Uh, um, I've, I've, I've already come to the conclusion that it's not going to be the UIC. Had high hopes, but I've come to the conclusion that it's not going to be the UIC. And some people still really believe that it's going to be, and it can be, but it's not. It's not. It's going to come right back down to JLP and PNP again. That's what it is. And we have to just accept that that's what it is. And then, now we have to pick the less lethal poison. Because I, I, the two of them are going to poison me. But we're going to have to pick the less lethal poison out of the two. Yeah. Angel D says, at least someone noticed this new party is also divided too. Boy, listen. Divided or not, the whole of them are friends behind the scenes. The whole of them protect each other's secrets and they protect each other's interests. Behind the scenes. You know, see one time the man beat up him woman and lick her down. What, what, what you see happen? You hear police come and say, well, she's not pressing charges against him and he's not pressing charges against her. So there's nothing we can do from there on. Our hands are tied. 
The woman them jump out and said, this is not right. How could he represent a party and beat up him woman and then everybody act like nothing happened? Them kick him off of the bench for temporary, but they know how short our memory span is. A couple months later, he is rehired into a better position with higher pay. And come on, man, if Jesus can forgive, then who are we to not forgive our brother? What a rotted line. And here come the Bible again. Thump them in them head. If Jesus can forgive, then who are we? So guess what the women said? Well, as she are the one where I take the lick them. And if she can forgive him, me never get none of the lick them. So forgive him to yes. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Beer horn a blow. Beer torch gone in the ear like a dance. <laughs> like a dance that still show them there. Remember when the election, when the uh, COVID pandemic lockdown was going on? Remember when the workers at the hotel where they were having the party, when we were not supposed to be gathering in groups of more than how many? And them have them big party popping champagne bottles and stuff, right? The fuck Jamaica, fuck the regular people, them. Uh, that did not go on in there. That was the language that was being used, right? Government badness, uh, that to say. And people were outraged. I would, um, two politicians did name. I think one resigned and the other one, uh, Floyd Green, I believe it was. Yeah. Um, I am very embarrassed and I should never have acted in this manner. Blah, blah, blah. Go and look up where he's at now. Yeah. So nobody is held accountable on both sides. They play the same game. So get ready for them more of the same thing. That may have to say Tony this morning at 833. Um, I'm getting ready to go to this appointment. We're going to keep it short. We don't have much more, but we will link up later. Romaine Howell says, yes, it was Floyd Green. Thank you, Romaine, because I was trying to, Romaine, I was trying to make sure I got the right name. And I want to call the wrong person name and assess things about them. Because, you know, people are very tested these days. Cease and desist. Sue you for defamation of character. You're mentioning my name out of context, all kind of something. All right. Peace and love, people. Walk good. Watch what I go on. We talk more. All right? All right. I'm out. Peace.